thank you, God, for the victories. We have uh, seven victories in a row, and we want to share those replays and record them in a place. You are the God who goes before me, my rock and my shield. Four, five, seven. We're just doing our morning workout, so we won't be uh, commentating, but if a friend stops by and wants us to commentate, we certainly will. To make so we're we're against blood, and we think that we need to get aggressive here. So we mulliganed, looking for a way to uh, put pressure, and we found pressure because we like our hand. We're very happy. We had an artifact. We can discount it, shuffle more artifacts inside. We have ways to duplicate it, and we have redraw in focus. My rock and my ship. I was like, what is this? He is playing that. So we make a copy. This is the easy turn. There's nothing else that made any sense. So this this provides a good opportunity to use focus. So he puts three bats out. I think we're putting even more pressure. Because we're, we're going second, so we're going to Evo first. But even though he's blood, we think to ourselves he's natural blood. And for now, this, this is an interesting turn right here. We chose not to play bodies for him to take out because we see that we actually have two mana cheats. We have two acceleradiums. So with two acceleradiums, if we put no bodies on the board, we actually can cheat out mana and play everything. We can play two acceleradiums, then play three of these in a row, gain back all my mana, and then use focus or path to purgatory. And so I was like, hey, that's interesting. So we don't really we don't really need to fight for the board. We have very good late game. We think ourselves, we're not sure what he is. He's playing bats. It's not clear. He played it. He's being very mana inefficient. As you can see, he's this he's floating two mana. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to be very mana efficient. So we put out two accelerating and start shooting on mana. We have Evo. But look, we just got three. We we're attacking, seeing what we get. Okay, Murphy. So we play that out. We played Purgatory. It's arguable that we maybe should have played Purgatory. Oh, he <laughs> he surrendered. He surrendered because look, he has no 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 evil targets and path to Purgatory is online. Funny, funny, funny. That was fast. He's a grandmaster too. So thank God for that victory. He's a grandmaster too, in an older age. So this is nice. Taking out grandmasters is, is a pleasure and honor. So we are going to take augmentation, probably keep augmentation for sure, and throw the other two back. But then, yeah, you, when you play augmentation, you need to find artifact generators and artifact finders. Artifact generators put artifacts in your deck. Artifact finders pull artifacts into your, put them in your hand. So we have two artifact finders. And we have augmentation to put the pressure on. So now we found, uh, we put, we have two aug, uh, we have two artifact generators, these uh, magnet steel lions, and we have now an artifact finder. So our opponent's playing Roach, right? So he's 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 whispering with us. So now we found, we're gonna pause for a second. This this card uh, mechanization is an artifact generator because it puts artifacts into the deck. And now we can we put artifacts in our deck, and then we're gonna use this, and then we just put that out. It makes sense here. To actually get aggressive because Roach is Roach is a, must be finished off as soon as possible. You have to take him out. They're the combo deck. They're the control deck. Their combo is more lethal and comes online faster than our combo. So we can't go late game versus them unless they brick. So we, we we immediately start using our redraws because we figure okay oh we need we need a pressure and in this case we actually choose to put this. It makes more sense to go for the Mercury than the Focus. Because if he evos, he's going to have to trade into one of these uh, creatures that have three attack. And Roach, once evoed, only has three toughness. So in this case, 
we we are trying to this creates a situation where he cannot use Roach to defend himself. But if he does not defend himself, he's going to die. So what he really, 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 really needs to do in this instance is to have um, bar barrage. He needs to have relentless barrage and then evolve Reliza. Uh, uh, Airbound barrage is what he needs because Airbound barrage will take out a body. Because right now Liza can't trade. Earlier Liza could trade into one three. Now we're putting pressure. We're adding six. We added. We added three damage to our attack. Cause this is a three attack creature going to plus two. This is a two attack creature going to one. We're put, putting more pressure now. We're able to go eight, eight, and while leaving four three. And so our opponent also surrendered. So that was also a huge surprise to us. Two wins in a row so fast. Thank you, God. You are my God. Oh, that was so fast. I'll be right back. My God. Yeah, I've played against this guy. I remember his name because he has a... Uh, he put boobs on the end of his name. Uh, versus Portalcraft, I think I'm going to keep De Deus. Ex Deus Ex Machina is usually the hard... Oh, I'm full mulligan. Full mulligan. Makes sense. This, this hand is actually way better. The thing is, Haven is usually Storm Haven, and we want to have aggression. And this is, a, this is actually a perfect open. We have... We have three artifact generators and an artifact copy. So we have four artifact... Gener uh, artifact puller. P pull. This is an obvious play to do this here because you want to put pressure as fast as possible. At the same time, this allows us the highest chance of drawing more artifacts. And those artifacts we just put in our deck, it draws cards. So those are desirable cards. In this case, this is a, a very efficient turn using two mana, putting pressure on as well. And now we're actually investing. This might seem like, oh no, we're, we have an empty hand, but these last words, last gasp, having us draw cards is going to be a major key to us getting refill. Wow, top deck easy we got this last time mercury easy plus five damage and putting a body so we we're putting the pressure on eight ten damage putting him at eight and he can't even evo yet so now now he's clearly revealed his summit storm haven he's storm haven so he needs he's a very aggressive deck aggressive decks tend to not be very good defensively so he, he is going to be able to trade and take out one which is getting him a lethal range which is good on him now we've got a perfect draw here we found an artifact Polar and artifact generator. I think this is a great because because right now resonance is deactivated and call artifact will pull me two artifacts if I can have an even number of cards. So if I shuffle in one card, odd number of cards in your deck, put a one more card back in, you now have even cards. So I'm gonna put metamorphous and then probably pull. Yeah. And now I'm happy to see this. We do go face and then we're gonna probably put this body down. Because we were smelling blood. And we're going to take this out. So, hey, he has to Evo. He has to take out both targets in order to clear who he needs Kel. And we're... Oh, and he does find Kel. And so for us, we're really happy that we see two artifacts in our hand. And we're also going to draw another card on this last gas. Because now we're going to be able to resummon this. Now we were looking for the ability to create a storm creature. Now this is a perfect hand because we can cheat out so much. Augmentation allows us to gain our mana back and draw an artifact. So we can play an artifact, get the mana back, and then draw an artifact. As well as... We can do that three times for sure. So we put more artifacts in our deck with the intention of, if we put more artifacts in our deck, we have a higher chance of drawing drawing the artifact. We got another augmentation. Oh, so now we, we just played four artifacts. Dude, we killed three opponents in a row faster than we could even evo once. We didn't even evo once, so thank you, God. Blessed is the Lord my rock. You've trained my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Psalm 144, 1. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. I think we can get all seven of them. Troubled times you will provide, and I shall not.
One of the reasons why we're recording this is because we want to see, we want to actually see and analyze opening hands and how to, what are what are the win conditions that actually work. Because seven wins in a row is a, is a very valuable data, okay? I can reanalyze this and look at what works. So we mulligan, I'm not sure we mulligan, but we put in an artifact generator. So we have an artifact generator, two artifact poolers. We have a card draw, I think. We're, our game plan, so we're, okay, Natera Blood. Our opponent's Natera Blood, so he's, He's going to deal damage and draw like crazy. So we're gonna aggressively, we put in one artifact in our deck, so we just drew that one artifact. Fair enough. The reason why it made sense to draw that artifact is because we can duplicate it on this turn, and we're gonna we're gonna do that now. We use this to cheat out, so we two cheat out two mana. And then we make a copy. We have augmentation online and Nexella, so it's just two back. We get we we do it again. So we're just we're just cheating out so much mana. We just played three artifacts. We played four mana worth. We played five mana. If we took it, that's five mana worth. So we're playing seven mana worth so far. And then uh, I think Magnus Steel. Magnus Steel makes the most sense here because we can't cheat out more mana here. So now we've put a lot of pressure. We've actually played look one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We played seven mana worth of stuff on turn three, and we drew three cards. So our opponent just showed off his uh, Sanguine Core. So basically all the damage I do is nil, because if we do damage, it's gonna heal on Eva. It's gonna heal 10 life back. So this is the right turn to refill the hand. And so he he thinks, look, if I, cause I just had a seven play point turn and he's gonna negate all this damage in his following turn. He's thinking to himself, okay, um, we'll deal with everything using, uh, there's a card that can deal with this whole board. So he's like, okay, we board lock him and then we deal with it the next turn deal two damage to everything so he thinks that he's given me an unproductive turn but actually we have a perfect turn here we can draw we can draw a card with metamorphosis but we can also draw two cards with uh, focus so we can draw three cards using all our mana efficiently we we attack him not because it does anything because he just heals back so we just draw three and this is definitely something we want to see so we're looking at this we're thinking this is this is hands online he found his main combo piece so in fact he didn't find he didn't actually find his deal two damage to the face card so deal two damage to everything and instead he wants to get his machine gun going on that says every time he draws a card or discards a card he will start dealing damage every time he discards or draw a card deal one damage to a random unit so we're, we're going to shuffle in artifacts first the reason is because if we shuffle artifacts first and we um, we can cheat out play points like crazy. I think I'm going to do Deus Ex Machina here. Deus Ex Machina makes the most sense because we have a really good hand. Our hand's amazing. But we also have an odd number of cards in our deck. And if you shuffle an even number of cards into an odd uh, deck, it stays odd. So if you put four cards into 25 cards, it's still 29. So if we put, if we put Deus online, we set up ourselves for future turns. We're investing in future turns. At the same time, we're clearing and answer the board, and we're not discarding our very wonderful hand. Our hand is very good. Our hand's amazing. So I think Deus is the correct play here. Oh, I didn't need Deus. I didn't Deus. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, oh, I did this. I did this because I could play Deus after, I think. So we use augmentation, I think, I think. Because here, here we're going to gain three mana for one. I think so. Because we do this. I think, I think so you trade this. So we make a copy. We make a copy. I, th I think. Hmm. I thought I Deus. Maybe. Maybe I thought Deus was not the correct play because here. Oh. Whoa. I played. I did this completely different than I thought I was. <laughs> than I thought I was gonna do. This game, game deck five mana. Oh. And then Mercury. Oh. This is. This is actually. This is actually legitimately. Wow. I actually just did a legitimately better, I just did a way better play in real life than what I was thinking just now. So that's the IO, the IO, the answers, he drains back. Well, this is pretty funny, I think. This is pretty funny because in this situation, we actually can play Deus in our whole hand. So he's getting the machine gun going, he's answering the board, because we can play, with play a Deus, play a Deus, then start gaining mana back. We're going to gain... Two mana back for each one, so this, you get one net profit one. So we're going up to three. Now, oh, an acceleradium. Hello, hello, whoa, whoa! I played this. I played this 
game is so different than I thought I remember it. So, so the thing is here, now we have a mana cheat of we can get three mana for every artifact played, which gets to be a lot of mana. And I and I, I remember doing the calculations before that we can do 14 damage in this instance. And so he's actually at 14 life and he's he's dealing damage, he's putting lethal. So if this, if we have lethal on this turn, I'm certain of it. So first thing first, to get lethal, I, I believe. Oh yeah, yeah, easy, easy, easy lethal. You play Radiant Artifact, five mana. So you go from seven to two, and then you get back to three. So now we're at five, okay? Then we use this card, um, Sintokization, get another Radiant, another Radiant out, then you use Biofabrication, to, uh, discount it to four, because seven minus five goes to two. Two plus three goes to five. Five minus one goes to four. Four means you can't play Radiant Artifact. But if you discount the artif Radiant Artifact with Biofabrication, it's now five minus one is four. So now you can play the second Radiant Artifact and then gain three mana back. And when you gain three mana back, that's eight damage on the board. Putting playing Mercury is three mana. Eight plus six. Eight plus four is 12. Evo point is 14. And there are, this is the reason why we set up, we already had set us, uh, ourselves up with this by putting Radiance in our deck, and we, so I actually chose to do the four instead of the five. Interesting. I guess I just, it didn't turn out, it didn't really matter. But then we even got fancy playing the one to get even more mana back, and then we're going to play Mechanization, because that's how we roll. You are, you are my god. I'm actually going to watch that replay again simply to see the... And, and welcome as well. We're watching our seven wins in a row and analyzing and getting that. Getting getting the recordings in so we could always analyze it on another time. I'm sure, I'm sure there's going to be things that escape us that we just have not seen before that we can't pause as easily. Can't rewind as easily in client, so... This, this that game was actually explosively perfect. Our opponent also had a very good hand, got everything off perfectly, Sanguine Core on the right turn. So this was a very, and he even has going second Evo. So more or less, this game was a perfect example of why Portal Craft can crush Natura Blood, even if both sides have perfect hands. So we get the artifact. I just want to analyze that turn where I just completely did not get it right. I did not see what I was going to do. So we get the augmentation online. I think it's okay to get really aggressive here because our card is full of good cards. So if we just keep on drawing cards, if we just keep on, like, doing this is necessary. Holding on to augmentation makes no sense. There's more augmentations in the deck. If we find those augmentations, if we find more augmentations in our deck, we'll be able, like, like, just doing this makes so much sense because getting through the deck is what this deck wants to do. We want to get through our deck as fast as possible. We don't want to slow down. And we do have Dave, so there's no real incentive to just hold on. We have focus. We have uh, we have focus. We have ways to dig deep. And we were we were going to dig deep in a deck. And, and Dave is going to discard all the cards in our hands anyway. So if you're not playing cards now, you're going to discard even more cards. So just, just holding back is not necessary. So this this upcoming is this turn five that was pretty explosive because this what's really interesting is in this deck if he actually had more things for me to attack that would have been better if he had more things from so he been mechanization draw the artifact double get the triple mana back okay against me so this does cheat mana out like crazy. Biofabby. Interesting. This is this is an instance. We, we, this is actually a situation where if we had more stuff to run into, we would draw more cards and we could even get cheat more mana. We would even get Deus Ex Machina online. So like, if technically speaking, if he had something for me to kill this two one in, it would have been way better because Deus Ex Machina could then just be played. And it's Evo turn. And so it's it's a little ironic that Portalcraft likes to see. Definitely likes to see things to run into. 
Like, we want to see him play creatures. He wants the more stats we can fight. Like, we don't even care about this battle. Please kill everything in my hand. I'm, I, I don't need anything on the board. I want to get through my deck, please. Excuse me. So not even, it's not important that these things don't die. It's important that like we, we have so many cards to play. I, I'm also proud of this game because we were able to track down even and odd and make sure that we were drawing or redrawing our hands ex exactly on the Oh, I also remember why. It's very, very, very little tricky move here by myself that I did not mention is playing Syntokization here might seem unnecessary like uh, why are you playing this card you're going to discard your entire hand anyway and plus like yeah you're going to draw six more new cards the key here is we want to up our shadow count by playing syntokization here we're actually increasing our shadow count from 21 to 22 and then the card that ge is generated by syntokization is discarded so syntokization would count as two shadows and so what's there's actually no reason not to play it why not play it? we're playing path to purgatory we do want more shadow count. We want to hit 30. So this, uh, that's just a little, 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 little nifty tricky. Because sometimes we want, sometimes you're barely not able to get Path to Purgatory online. Like in this case, we are exactly on Path. Like, uh, we're not, oh, in this case, in this case, technically we could. And this is the thing, let's pretend we didn't have a Radiant Artifact to finish him off. Path to Purgatory would have been just as good. Because Path to Purgatory does... We're at 30. We're at 30 shadows. Exactly. Path to Purgatory does 6 damage to the face if you have 30 shadows, and it costs 4 mana. It's cheaper and more effective than a Radiant Artifact. So, having our shadow count at 30 is very relevant. In, in this case, though, it's e in this case, we could, we're fortunate enough that we have ways to get past 30. We So, if we were at 29 shadows, we can push ourselves to 30. But it is possible, in some cases, your hand cannot get rid of shadows get more shadows your opponents did not put anything to attack and we do not have any cards that just create shadows in this case we have a lot we have mercury can create a shadow sync tokenization creates a shadow uh mechanization creates a shadow biopath creates a shadow so technically we're going to go to 34 34 shadows into the end of but that's where you want to be you want to be at the overkill point so that's 31 that's 32 that's Oh, I didn't even play Mechanization, let's put it that way. If we played Mechanization, it'd be 33, but we're gonna play Mercury. In the wilderness, shall I fear? God who goes before me, my rock and my shield. In trouble time, you will provide, I shall not want. That's glorious. Four wins, run five. This is the most difficult matchup. Shadowcraft, Mintha, is the most powerful deck in the entire game. It's very consistent. It has a very reliable finisher, and it comes down just too fast. And they can protect themselves, and they are very consistent because they have superior card draw. It's a very easy combo to pull off from my perspective. But we don't, when I say easy to pull off, it just means, look, we are down for a challenge. We play this game because we want hard. We want to beat good decks. We don't want to beat easy decks. We want to beat hard decks. We don't want to beat good bad players. We want to beat the best players. Like, why beat bad players? So, we're a little nervous for sure because we've historically been losing this matchup with pretty much 85%. So, he's guilting. He's killing this. His, his game plan is create as many shadows as possible kill you on turn six using um deathly tyrant and i started to realize that this deck kills you on turn six too reliably so you cannot hold back you cannot hold back you must go you have to go like there's two there's only three more turns and it needs turn six so everything we can do to so for example everything that we can do to put more pressure is what we need to do and that's exactly so thank god for mercury here we throw in uh we throw in our artifact we put acceleratium first because acceleratium allows us to have one play point and we're actually trying to set us ourselves up for days because we know that this game is going to be very very tight we can barely win this game even with perfect draws so we need to maximize our, if we want to win we need to maximize our chance of winning and we need to play to win not play to not lose 
So we need to make sure, like for example, next turn, if we draw Deus Ex Machina, we're going to be in trouble because that means we're going to be not, we're going to not have an, we're not going to have Accelerating Online. Deus Ex Machina is infinitely better, I mean, not infinitely, way better when you have Accelerating on the board because you can start cheating out double and you have Rush. So Accelerating is, represents carryover that, that can support the tempo loss of the uh, Deus Ex Machina. So playing this out, is makes sense because it turns this card for free and, and it and it puts us back at three mana giving us a perfect perfect mercury because now we've got a wide board we can do all this stuff they don't exactly have board clear which is something we're good we're good at so we're able to put eight points of damage and so this is definitely the right amount of pressure he's putting down the lady gray and he's able to remove a creature and then he's able to, so there's a deus ex machina off the top like i don't even remember this game but we played this game as if we didn't play knowing we'd get a Deus Ex Machina, but we played this game as if we would get a Deus Ex Machina. Like, like Deus Ex Machina is definitely the card we wanted here because we needed to redraw and get get our win condition online. We need to start putting the Radiance on the board. So, uh, lucky, yes. Card games have luck. We cannot decide what's on the next card of our deck, but we can definitely control luck by just choosing when to draw. And we can control luck, or we can actually manipulate luck. And that's by increasing the probability. Like, for example, what if we didn't play Acceleradium? Then we would, we're in a worse position. So that was within our control to play Acceleradium. So this is excellent, but it's not excellent because it's turn six. It's turn six. It's turn six. But the, 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 the redeeming thing here about why I think are going to win this game is because the re the way that we, we, we're going to beat these Mintha decks is if they can't play Mintha. So we don't give them enough time to play Mintha because Mintha isn't as good as Lady Grey in survival. So we slowed him down from doing the Mintha play. So either he doesn't have Mintha or he felt that if he played Mintha, he'd be in trouble. And he even played this from hand, which is really interesting because Gremory is not actually good in this situation. Like it may seem that Gremory... Oh, ow, my ears might seem that Gremory is really good, but Gremory is horrible. In the previous game, we know that we want to sacrifice. In order to cheat more artifacts out, we actually, to draw more cards, we want bodies to run into. So we use augmentation, create create the loop, use biofab, create clones. Now we are going to cheat mana like crazy. So we get zero cost, get two mana back. We get, we get three mana back per artifact. We have augmentation online, acceleratium online, and deus ex machina online. It's like... It's like a very good day. So this represented plus three artifact uh, mana. This represents plus three mana. So every one cost artifact is actually negative two. Cost negative two. It gives us two mana back. So we're happy to run into this. We're going to clone it to get... I think we're going to clone it just because we want to see if we can, if we can uh, draw even more interesting stuff. But I don't know if that's actually a good idea. So we... So we just draw that. Okay. We trying to find radiance, I think. Oh, that's radiant. That's radiant. <laughs> well, it's a radiant. Like, see, see, radiant. Not only is this a radiant, we just radiant biofab, and on top of that, we're going. We made a call, get the mana back, and then you have mercury on top of this, and then we're also on an odd turn, so we don't have evil points. So the the good news, the actual legitimate good news about this situation is we just did eleven damage to face eight plus three is eleven. And Mintha cannot be played on the same turn as Deathly Tyrant. Then, oh, 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 oh. And we even manipulated our turn at the end, making sure we had an odd, even number of cards. I didn't even see this. We made, made sure that we had an even number of cards. So we'd get redraws. And we had just put in more Radiance. So now if he completely clears the board, we should have a very high probability of winning simply because he has to clear everything. And prepare to kill me in order to win. We've got him on the back foot here, and he's out of here. Toodles, Luna. Peace. Before me. That's these last two games are exciting. And I shall not want my God. So I'll be. I'm very appreciative that God was able to give me these seven wins. This is not normal. Not normal. 
Our whole hand was bricky. Now our hand's looking good. Are we going first or are we going second? Uh, I didn't see. First and second really matters about the aggression. So first means I needed to boost. Haven is very aggressive in general. So getting this sensitization is definitely the best card you could possibly find on turn one, for sure, I think. So it makes sense to play the this card because <clears throat> this sets us up. The, uh, uh, well, the thing is, mechanization shuffles cards in artifacts and then bio 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 machine gunner is able to pull out the artifact and using um augmentation that can temple out and play all the all i could actually play out all my analyzing artifacts and get retrials oh this like this game's actually pretty pretty interesting pretty thorough i'm gonna be right back and then cast it give it its full treatment we already cast it before but i think it's nice to see how, how we cast it in relationship to the previous six wins Sorry, I'm back. This hate is good. We did a full keep. The reason why we did a full keep is because our artifact portal is very about it's very much about synergy synergy. You have artifact generators and artifact pullers. Artifact generators put artifacts in your deck. Artifact pullers put them in your hand. So we have two artifact generators, but in opening hand we had an artifact generator, mechanization, and bio biogun engineer or something like that. He's this one is an artifact pooler. So they automatically fit like a glove because you can play mechanization on the exact same turn and then pull put a one one body, put pressure, and then put the artifact. Mecha uh, Mecha Lion is also an artifact generator, like because they put artifacts in your deck, analyze the artifacts. And then focus is a refill. Focus is a refill because if you play Biofab and then this, you basically you just play two cards in one turn, so you're running out cards in your hand. The focus fits really nicely because focus refills your hand, gets you two cards, digs deeper into the deck. So we're gonna put in the these two artifacts, hope that we get an analyzing artifact off the top. I think we do get it. Let's see. Oh no, no, we don't. We get a um, <coughs> A rush artifact, which is okay. I think we put the two. I think we put the two. Yeah, we put the two here, and then we put some pressure. Uh, against our natural assumption is their Natura blood, and Natura blood just draws and heals, draws and heals. And for that reason, I think we're going to go for the healing. I think the heal. I think we're going to go for. I think we're going to go for the focus. Oh wow, we wow. Okay, okay, that's aggressive. I'm just going to pause here for a second. That is not. Oh, 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 I know why I did that. The reason we did that was because we have Deus Ex Machina in our hand. So, in a normal in a normal world, in a normal world, I would never do that. The reason I'd never do that is because 
They're going to heal up all the way to 20 anyway, and they're going to kill everything on the board. So what's the point of putting more pressure? I would rather draw two more cards and have the resources, resource extension to sustain a prolonged control mirror. I can Their deck is a control deck. Barely plays any creatures, snipes all your creatures. It's a combo control deck. And they take it late game. They need three. They need to kill you over three turns. They cannot OTK one turn kill you. They kill you in three turns. They can't do 20 damage in one turn. Like a Mintha deck. Our deck can our deck can do 14 damage in one turn. With nothing, having nothing on the board. 14 damage from the board. So knowing your reach, like our deck can do 14 damage from nowhere. Their deck cannot do 20 damage from nowhere. Their deck can do something like their deck can do about 14-ish damage, 40, four, close to 14-ish damage max, but it, it's, it also misses. But the reason why we, we played everything is because Deus Ex Machina will just refill the hand anyway. So just just play everything and make him use resources, make him use resources. It, this is a very bad turn. A turn 4 play nothing is very unlikely in this deck because this deck has 27 cards that cost 0 or 1 mana. This deck has only three cards that cost five mana. Everything else costs one or two mana. One, everything in this deck costs one or two mana. So it's unlikely this would happen, but it's okay. Because he, Deus Ex Machina will fix things. He deals with one, Evos pulls over the other one. He didn't, so he didn't heal yet, but he's definitely got his machine gun online. Every time he draws a card, he deals one damage. Every time he discards a card, he deals one damage now. <coughs> so, <coughs> so we got a Radiant online. We're not happy about this because this is a little awkward. We didn't want to draw Radiance because we want to draw Radiance after the day is online. Now discarding a Radiant is unfortunate because we only put two in our deck and we want to we like we want to Biofab Radiance in our next few turns. So discarding them does kind of feel bad. And on top of that, we can't play Biofab because <coughs> if we play Biofab, it puts an odd number of Radiance puts three more, and if we have 40 cards in our deck and we put 43, we go to 43. That's odd and turns off Radiance and Resonance, and then we can't redraw. And we need to ca draw cards a lot more than we need more Radiance in our deck at the moment. So putting more Radiance in your deck makes no sense. Evoing over this, it makes sense because you can't afford to take extra damage. They already do so much damage, you need to pull off as much damage as possible. Dealing damage to them is not as important as taking off damage. We need to take off damage. And so the way their deck works, they just drew two cards, they deal two damage. They drew one card, deals one damage. Every time they draw a card, oh, <coughs> draw one card here. Every time they draw a card, now he discard two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He just did eight damage. He drew eight, he drew eight cards, so he did eight. Nine, ten. He just did ten damage. Ten damage in one, eleven. He just did eleven damage in one turn. This is eleven damage. So it's kind of... The way their deck works is they, they deal damage every time they draw a card. But I actually should check to make sure, because I'm not totally sure what he does. World Uprooted. Every time they draw a card, they deal one damage. But they can't choose who it, they do it to. It's random. And since it's random, it can hit a creature or it can hit you. And since it can hit a creature, the way we counter this deck is we need to put as many creatures on the board. So give them a higher probability of it not actually hitting me. Ravening Corruption. Okay, whenever you add cards from your hand from your deck, so when you draw cards from their deck, you deal one damage to a random enemy. Not when you discard. So their max damage, the max damage they can literally do is eight. Or nine. No, 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 that's totally not right. They could do more than that. He just did 11. I'm just, he could do at least 11 because you can draw cards that help you draw more cards that help you more draw more cards, right? It's, 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 but the maximum damage their deck could technically, in theory, even do is something like 30 damage anyway. So like right now, his deck can his deck can only do 15 damage. His deck could literally only do 15 damage because he can only draw 15 more cards. <laughs> so, and when I say 15, he can do more damage with Io. He can do more damage with Evos, but using his leader ability, they can only do 15 more damage. So we've put first Radiant online. I think we put an Accelerate. This has to be a misplay here. I feel like not putting Accelerate is a problem. Oh, 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 oh. The, re oh. the reason
reason why we didn't put, uh, I think putting accelerating might have been a mistake. Because we could have used mercury. Uh, if, you, if we put, the question here is, is it worth putting accelerating? Yes. I should have put, put accelerating here because mercury would allow, we'd have one less body, but we would be able to put on more pressure, more damage, and more stats. So that means two toughness suddenly gives, every time he was randomly doing 15 damage, he'd have to do, this would do five, six, he'd have to, there, actually there'd be a lot. Ah, oh, it would be a lot. Ooh, not playing accelerating is a lot because each, each artifact would have plus two, plus two. So that means two toughness. That's three toughness, six toughness, eight toughness, 11 toughness. This is five plus two, seven. There's a lot, wait, wait. So this would be, these go to three threes, that's six. This goes to two two, that's eight. Eight plus three is 11. 11 plus seven. There would be seven, seven toughness here. 11, there'd be 18 toughness. So not actually, oh, there'd be no one, one. It'd be 18 minus two, because then I overcounted this, because we'd have to lose one spade. No, we would lose, we'd lose this one. So actually, so if we played Acceleradium, it wouldn't, we would have one analyzing artifact left. So you'd act, we'd actually have three, three, six, six toughness plus two, <coughs> eight toughness, eight toughness plus seven, 15 toughness. 15 toughness if Mercury was played, and we'd be pushing eight damage to his face. Eight damage does put him at um, five, which would actually be pretty good considering he needs to use blood packs. He's gonna deal damage himself. Uh, he would actually have to do damage himself with blood pack. Uh, I don't, I think I made a mistake here. I think I was trying to use focus to heal too. Yeah, that's a definite mistake. Because I, I think I was trying to mana cheat out, but I didn't do the, the math right, and I thought I was going to have three mana at the end to use focus to heal two and draw two. Not right. It's not right. So. One damage. So he didn't have Io. So if he had Io, he couldn't do this play. So he actually didn't have an Io. Either he doesn't have Io in his deck, or he just doesn't have Io in his hand. Because Io would be the full clear and heal. So this is a little inefficient, which is kind of funny because he drew through his whole deck. He's only 30 guards in his deck. So we augmentation, we start cheating things out. Hmm. Definitely could learn from this experience. We want to put Deus Ex Machina online, I believe. So we played that one first, then we played Deus. We need to put as many stats on the board, so he can do 30 damage via combo. He still has an evil point, so he could technically Io. One damage. Two damage. Three, four. Three, four. Five, six. He would be dead if, if we use Five, six. So he he would have died if he had one more card in. He had what we would have died if he had one more card because he did thirteen. He was doing thirteen damage in that turn. The final turn he did thirteen damage, but he didn't get the damage to register because he overdrew. He drew one card too many and he just killed himself. So he he got a little bit feisty, a little hasty. So we're gonna get ready to go out. Thank you God for the victory. Thank you for getting us to uh, sixty eight six thousand eight hundred twenty two. We're close. Uh, to Grandmaster, I pray that you bless us and give us victory and are able to conquer the challenges and the difficulties and the very powerful decks that come our way. And I pray that anyone who watches this had a good time watching it and has a great day. Uh, thank you so much. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Take care. Bye-bye.